Today, we are hiking in a remote canyon to find prehistoric reptile tracks. Hey guys, welcome to another adventure. Today we are in a remote canyon and we're searching for prehistoric reptile tracks somewhere in the sandstone. I have a general idea of where they are, but we're still going to have to search for them to find them. And then we might explore some other areas, maybe climb to the top of the butte. I don't know. We'll just see. So it's going to be a cool adventure and I hope you guys enjoy. And this is the best view you can get of Torweep Tower right there. Someday I want to climb that. They're not very stable. That's the butte we're going to be hiking to the top of later in the day. But first, it's the reptile tracks. And before the reptile tracks, we might actually climb up this dome. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but we haven't gotten to do it yet. So we might go up there.
you can see all kinds of cool formations in the sandstone that used to be ancient sand dunes. reaching the summit of this dome. <sighs> a steep little climb to the top. This is the summit up here. Great views. That's the view we're going to be climbing later on in the day. So we scrambled off this peak. This was a rough descent. We went a different way than we came up and ended up doing a lot of bushwhacking. So I don't think we're gonna go to the top of the butte. I've already been there. It's a cool summit, but still quite a ways to climb. But right now we are searching for the reptile tracks. Well, after searching this for only like five minutes, I found them. This is very cool. So please, if you come here, respect these, you know, don't touch them or vandalize them. I'm not gonna give out the exact location for that exact reason. But yeah, like, I'm not touching these, but my hand these are maybe like, each one is about an inch wide. Let's see. In pairs of two, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pairs, which equals 22 total tracks. And also about a month ago, when we were scrambling up a Coconino Ridge, right up there, we found some more. They were smaller than this, but they were way up there, so I'll put a picture on the screen of those. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of like animal this was, what kind of reptile. I'm assuming some kind of lizard. 
on the same like varnished layer and then it must have walked through here and there's some more that look like they peeled off over here and maybe some faint ones right there a few little footsteps trying to find some answers about these tracks I contacted geology professor Steven Semkin at the Arizona State University. Professor Semkin replied, The tracks of Ichnotherium are common in the Coconino sandstone, and although I am not a paleontologist, these do look like Ichnotherium tracks to me. We can't tell everything about the animal from its tracks, so some things about it are just hypotheses but it was almost certainly four-legged and is thought to be a transitional species between amphibians and reptiles. Because the Coconino sandstone likely formed from desert dunes in the Permian period about 280 million years ago, the environment must have been dry, so Ignotherium was probably more reptile than amphibian. Do you notice how some of the tracks are higher in the back than the front? This may be because the animal is climbing up a sloping face of a sand dune and pushing the sand out from behind its feet. Modern animals, including us, do the same thing when climbing up a sandy slope. Professor Sumkin also pointed me to some articles about the discovery of a fossil trackway at the Grand Canyon. Nearly 300 million years ago, in a sandy desert now preserved as Coconino Sandstone at Grand Canyon National Park, some creatures walked across an area left moist, very likely by an oasis. I then did some more research and saw that Professor Spencer Lucas, a paleontologist from the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, wrote some papers about Ichnotherium and their tracks. I reached out to Professor Lucas and he mentioned that the two sets of tracks that I found were likely made by two different track makers. The research and study of these tracks is still ongoing. Thank you to both Professor Lucas and Professor Semkin for this information. So let me know what you think in the comments or if you know what kind of reptile did this. But that's gonna wrap it up. Again, we're gonna skip the butte. We just don't have the energy to do it. It's quite hot, like 80 degrees. So we're gonna head back. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and please let me know what your favorite part was in the comments.